Welcome to Deliciously with Ara. Ngayon gagawa tayo ng takkalbi. So takkalbi is Actually, tak means chicken and kalbi, sort of like a um, spiced marinated chicken in a big dinner luto sa isang malaking pan like this that we can have a salo salo together with our family and friends. It's a very popular dish for especially when we have like gathering within um, within our friends where you can just eat it together and cook it together as well. We need a lot of cabbage as well, and also for the main ingredient, it's actually going to be our chicken thigh fillet. I prefer the thigh part because it's juicier. And for the sauce, we need our chili powder, chili paste. This is very important. Important. Soy sauce, some cooking wine, some curry powder, garlic, sugar, and it's very simple to make. So first we cut off our ingredients. I'm going to be making our sauce marinade because the sauce marinade, the longer you can actually put it, the, the better the flavor comes out. So you can make this sauce ahead of time, make it in big batches and store it in the ref and whatever you cook it, just um, defrost it as you use because the longer it is, the better, the juicier the flavor is. So now let's first make our sauce. So for our sauce, it's very simple ratio that we have to memorize. Everything is one. Parang pante pante sila lahat. I'm gonna be using four tablespoons for like a half a kilo of my chicken, which is good for around four people. So whatever, if ever you have to make more, just do it accordingly. But so your your ratio is one on one. So first, I'm gonna be needing my four tablespoons of chili um, chili paste or kuchujang. So four tablespoons of kuchujang and my chili powder, four tablespoons as well. And four tablespoons of my soy sauce. And four tablespoons of my cooking wine. So if you don't have cooking wine at home, you can just substitute it with like other kinds of wines, except for like really white wine because it has a very distinctive smell than grapes, unless you really like it. But the purpose of the cooking wine is to really remove the smell of the chicken. So if you don't have it, you can actually omit it. It doesn't matter at all. And now we have our sugar, also four tablespoons. So everything is one on one. And here I have my minced garlic. I'm gonna be using also four tablespoons. And just for an additional kick of the flavor, I'm gonna be needing around curry powder. So whatever curry powder you have, just I'm gonna be using only this like one tablespoon only, just for like counting smell lang ng curry. So except for the curry, it's gonna be one tablespoon. And also I have here minced garlic, minced ginger. So I'm gonna be needing also one tablespoon. So actually the chili powder, the curry powder and the gar and the ginger are only like one fourth of your other ratios. And we're just gonna mix this up. Haluin ng atin ng haluin. So now I have here my sauce marinade for takkalbi prepared. I'm gonna leave it for a while while I cut my chicken. Actually, you can use this um, sauce for different kinds of meat that you have if you want to have like a home Korean barbecue. A spicier version, this is a perfect recipe also for your marinade. So now I have here my chicken fillet. Ika cut natin siya ng parang maliliit na bite size. Maybe not so small, but sugar a thickness of like a finger para madali lang siya makain mamaya. So I've already cut up my chicken thigh fillets. Actually, some people prefer it without the skin, but I actually love the chicken skin. The oiliness comes from it. So it's really up to you whether you want it like no skin, then you can actually remove it. So here I have cut it up. Um, the sizes I've cut it up is like kind of like this size. Parang malilit lang siya, malu parang one bite. And then now with the sauce that we've made, we marinate natin siya. Actually, the longer you marinate it, the better, of course. So we're gonna pour this mixture. We haluin natin ang ating chicken. And we're gonna set this aside. Haba ikakat natin ang ating mga gulay. So now I'm gonna be cutting off my cabbage. The more cabbage, actually, the yummier it is. So I'm gonna be needing the whole thing. Ikakat natin siya. And half it. And tangay natin yung matikas na part here. 
So we're gonna be cutting off our cabbage, siguro like an inch to thick, an inch like this. And dahil para wala nang maraming lagayan, I'm just gonna put it straight on my pan. The good place to cook our um, takkalbi is in a big frying pan. So if you have something like this, you can use it. Or if you have a big uh, frying pan, that's actually gonna be okay as well. So I'm just gonna put it all in my pan. Oops. Just hiwala hiwala na natin yung mga dahon. So now my cabbage has been spread around in my pan. I'm gonna be cutting my leeks as well. So I have here two whole leeks. I love leeks and then the sweetness and the flavor it gives. So I'm gonna be cutting it in like small slanted ways. So the mga dalawa, good for mga four. So same thing, whatever we have, we're just gonna all throw it in, in our pan. So you just spread it on just the sides. Also, for a bite, for a texture, we have here kamote. So, if you don't like the sweet potato or the kamote, you can actually substitute it with potatoes. But I love the sweetness from it, so I'm gonna cut it as well. Ito maninipis lang para madaling maluto. So, now I've cut our kamote or sweet potatoes. Ilagay natin siya sa sides. Just dump it everything here para ulang masyado marami hugas on mamaya. And then our onions as well. I have here one big onions, but if you if you like the red onions, you can actually use that as well. The the onion gives an extra sweetness, and I love the smell of onions. So we're gonna cut it also into strips. We're gonna loosen up a little bit, para hindi siya makadikit dikit, and then ilagay yung dalas sa ating pan. So now I've got my pan full of my vegetables and then we're gonna now put it on our takkalbi that which one we have marinated on top of it. So now normally when you go to Korean restaurants, they really serve you like this in a big pot with vegetables on the base and then our takkalbi on the top. Now another option for our ingredients is really the sesame leaf or perilia leaves they call it. I'm pretty sure that not everybody likes the scent of it but it has a very distinctive, hindi siya minty but a little bit of a stronger smell that Koreans love. So if you have an access to sesame leaf or perilia leaves, you can actually cut it up and add it as well. So now I have this optional so I'm gonna cut it up and put it on my takkalbi. So I'm just gonna cut it later, pero hindi ko na siya ilalagay ngayon. Mamaya na lang siya pag medyo naluto. And as an optional ingredient as well, we have here my rice cake, or tak we call this. You can, get, you can buy this in Korean groceries, and if you got the frozen version, always put some water and defrost it. Don't add in direct to the frozen ones or else it will crack. But I got here like a room temperature already na medyo malambot-lambot, so I'm not gonna add it in water. But most of the time, we can get the frozen ones, please defrost it in water. And we also have here my udon, um, udon noodles as well. So if you have whatever noodles that you have, we can add this later on as we stir fry. So now since my platter is complete, I'm gonna start off my fire. So it's very good to have this in like together with a family of friends. So when you're in a table, na magsalo sa isang table, we can have this on the center and luto tayo sabay sabay, and then we eat it as it cooks. So we just have to wait for a little until we hear the sizzling sound, and then haluin natin siya para hindi masunog yung mga vegetables on the bottom. So now I can hear the sizzling sound. We're gonna be giving it a toss. If you're gonna be using it in the house like a regular, like a non-stick frying pan, make sure that you did it. And if ever it does, what you can do is instead of cooking oil, you can add a little bit of water. So I always have a cup of my water ready in case I do it, I can just pour it right away. But not yet, as of now, because may mga lumalabas pa naman ng water from the vegetables. So I'm just gonna wait and monitor a little bit. So let's give it a stir. Haluin natin yung mga ating chicken and our vegetables. Actually, I forgot before we mix it, I'm gonna add in already my rice cake. I can smell the aroma of my takkalbi already. So what we're gonna do is, Koreans normally eat this as is with the chicken and the vegetables. And when we're done eating, in the sauce, we stir fry the rice later on. But if you wanna add some more texture to it, like some more starch, except for the tak, we can add like some udon noodles. So I'm gonna set it aside my mga vegetables and chicken. Then, haluin natin siya na haluin. On one side. So, as my udang is being cooked, I'm now gonna add my sesame leaf or the perilla leaves on the other side. Then, just give it a slight toss. Then, 
And of course, if you eat something spicy, it's always good to have like a cheese for some, you know, for fun and of course to lessen up the spiciness. So I'm gonna sort of like realign my pan. Just pang pang pa arte lang ng konte. So in case you have your family or friends, it's also good to look at. So I have my udon noodles on the side and the majority of my chicken and my ate, my vegetables. I have here a cup of mozzarella cheese. So I'm gonna put it here on the center. Not really centered, I'll count the noodles, but you know, I just want to give like a small divider. The more cheese, right, the better it is. So let's just add more. It's like cheesier. And now I'm just gonna wait for my cheese to melt and it's gonna be ready already to be eaten. Here's my takkalbi, Aras version. Very simple to make. I'm pretty sure you can have this together with your family or friends. So we can have sort of like an assortment feeling in Korea, feeling together with friends. I hope you enjoy. We have different flavors of chicken, vegetables, the udon, cheese. Very good for your whole family. So I hope you enjoy. Thank you. Bye bye. Mm. The spiciness of the chicken, the sweetness from the sauce, and then the creaminess of the cheese. Perfect. I'm pretty sure you really have to try this. It's a must. And let's also try my noodles, the udon. Mm. You know how the how it became a craze about the spicy chicken noodle challenge thing this is so much better a more authentic and healthier version of course so please try it at your home i hope you enjoy it very very good